If you're a real estate agent that's stuck making less than six figures per year, and you want to, of course, make multiple six figures, this presentation is gonna give you the clear roadmap of exactly how to do that through creating a vivid vision and manifesting exactly what you need to do and the actions you can take on a daily basis in order to get yourself to where you want to be. Thousands of agents have now gone through this presentation and seen those exact results. And this is what I did in order to take my business from where it was a year ago to 10 xing it to where it is today. I'm bringing on David Benz, who's one of the top performance and mindset coaches in the real estate industry, and also one of the top luxury agents up here in Canada. And he's gonna be breaking down how to create a vivid vision and the exact steps that you can take in order to bring it to life so that you can manifest everything you've ever dreamed of out of your business. You're going to want to take notes for this and it is a bit of a longer one. So if you want to put it on 2X speed, feel free to do so. And if you have any questions at the end of the presentation and you want to talk to David directly about partnering with him and getting his guidance mentorship for free, click the link in the description of the pinned comment so you can book a private one-on-one -on -one call with him. So without further ado, let's dive into the tactical and practical examples of how to create a vivid vision and bring your multiple six figure per year dreams to life. What's up guys? Well, Welcome back to another video. This is one I'm super excited for because this is one of three parts in a mindset series that I'm going to be doing with David Benz here, who's a top luxury real estate agent, mindset coach, and real estate performance coach that has helped agents drastically scale their business. And we're going to be diving in today about a topic that is near and dear to my heart, which is the importance of vivid visualization, manifesting what you want out of your business, out of your career and your life, which is exactly what David is a complete master of. So this is going to be one that has changed my life and I know is going to change yours if you stay tuned to the end. So David, welcome, man. Why don't you give people a little, a little introduction as to who you are, and then we're going to dive into this extremely important topic that every agent needs to understand if they want to crush their goals. Mike, so good to be with you, man. I am so pumped for this episode because this is really a culmination of what started for me when I was a really young kid. And I saw Tony Robbins on TV when I was about 10 or 12 years old. And then I realized that's something I really wanted to do from such a young age. Fast forward, I had the opportunity to be a senior program leader for the world's largest personal development company called Landmark. And I was one of 190 people around the world who led their programs delivering to thousands of people. And at the same time, I was in the real estate business. So everything that we're going to be going through today, I have applied to my business. I used to be at Keller Williams. I was top 25 in Canada in 2015, 16, and 17, and I've crushed it ever since. This topic is pivotal for anybody's performance and anybody who's looking to take their game to the next level in our industry. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited because I've seen what you've done. And obviously, we've talked about some of the price points that you've dealt with, you know, multiple yeah. million dollar listings up to, you know, over $10 million listings. And, and again, you, you know, you and I have both seen this happen with people that apply these strategies is, you know, they go from the point of not having any business to being overwhelmed with business. Um, and that's an incredible position to be in. And most don't know how to get there because they're stuck in a rut. They have no business. They come up with these scapegoats of, you know, especially in your market at the GTA, you know, there's too many agents, there's too many people, the competition's too high, I'm never going to be able to make it. But when you apply these strategies, this is the ticket to actually breaking through breaking out, and then building the business of your dreams. So let's dive into it and show people and talk to people um, about how to properly visualize and manifest what they're looking out of their business in their life. All right, let's do it. And if you're watching this, you want to make sure that you pull out a notebook pull out your pen and you're going to want to take a ton of notes. And I'd probably watch this episode again, because the real area in our industry that is super hard to break through is going from 50 to over 200 grand. Okay. Setting your mind in the correct place is the foundational piece that you need to integrate into your life and in your business. So what we're going to walk through is the vivid vision. Okay. Now the vivid vision doesn't matter who you study. It could be Wallace D. Waddles, Tony Robbins, Think and Grow Rich. You can go on throughout the library. They all point to creating a vivid vision for yourself and your life and what you want. The first foundational step, which is completely counterintuitive to what most people speak about in our industry, 
is creating these big elaborate plans and, and com- concocting all these strategies. The problem is people in life and specifically in the real estate business get so addicted to the how. How am I going to find those buyers? How am I going to get that next listing? How am I going to make my car payment? How am I going to make 150 grand this year? You're going to hear me say this a lot in this video. You have to surrender the how. All right? Then take notes of this, take a screenshot, do whatever you want with this. Keep this available for yourself. This is exactly what I've coached thousands of people through in the real estate business. It's what I coach people through in Rocket Fuel and my Agent Attraction Accelerator course. I was just telling Mike before we started recording, I have one of my participants who does not want to be selling anymore. She wants to move on to do 100% Agent Attraction. And she said, I probably shouldn't have applied this as clearly as I did because I'm overflowing with listings and buyers right now. She was broke three months ago. This stuff works, guys. The first piece that we're going to be walking through in a little bit more detail is creating your vivid vision. Once you've created the vivid vision every morning, in fact, three times a day, you want to align to that vision. And then you want to feel it as though it's already done. I'm not talking about feeling it in your head. Feel it in your body as though it is already done. This is a practice. Men often have a little bit more challenge with this. So you really want to go in and feel your vision as though it is already done. Because it is. And then you want to be out throughout your day, throughout your evening, acting as though it's already done. The way to act as though it's already done is think about putting on a character. Like stepping into character. What does it feel like and what are you acting like as though your vision is already accomplished? See, this is a big source of people's mental health issues because this is where they are. This is where they want to be. The distance and the time gap that is made up and constructed in the egoic mind creates a lot of uncertainty for people. So we need to close that gap. If you want to buy that watch, you want to buy that car, you want to have that listing, you want to make 200 grand this year, you have to close that gap into the present moment and step into character by feeling and acting as though it's already done. The it is the goal or objective. And then you want to be open to receiving it. This is where you surrender the how. Again, people get so addicted. How am I going to get that listing? How am I going to get that buyer? I tell you what, it is none of your business. Pardon? What? But this sales trainer, this person, that person tells me, stop. You have to completely release your addiction to understanding how your goal and objective will get accomplished. And then underneath this is trust. The foundation of manifestation is trust. The foundation of manifesting money is trust. And you need to completely surrender the how and trust that what you are creating, Mike, and everybody watching is already here. We could go on a very deep road on this conversation, but... You just want to trust that it's already here because the thought would not have been provided to you to create and express in the world if it wasn't meant to be through you. Let that digest for a few minutes. (laughs) Well, I think that's incredibly powerful, David, because, you know, this is exactly how I went about my journey to get the Lamborghini. You know, I, I had an objective and I aligned with realizing that at some point, I don't know how, what, when, where, or why it's going to happen, but it will. 
And in terms of feeling and acting as if it's already done, you know, you can go back to 2017 when I was broke as a joke with less than $5,000 in my bank account. And I was posting pictures of Lamborghini saying, I am going to own this in the next couple of years. And I couldn't even afford a tire on it. And and then again, as you start to build momentum, because you're so driven with acting as if it's already done, it starts to manifest because you're trusting the process that, again, the right things are going to happen at the right time in the right place because of the fact that you're aligning, you're feeling it, and you're welcoming to receive what's going to come in terms of how you're actually going to get there. Exactly, Mike. And I think it's really important to note to create for me to also create relatability with everybody watching this. I was in, initially started my career in commercial and corporate real estate. I did that for five years and I did not like it. I had, when I walked away from commercial and corporate real estate, I had $60,000 in debt with $1,500 in my pocket. I did not have any savings. I didn't have stock. I didn't have RSPs. My mother couldn't give me money. I literally had 1500 bucks. Then I came across this information from my spiritual coach, from one of my mentors way back, this was probably about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And I began to become completely obsessed with this. She taught me this and I became literally obsessed with it. And I transitioned over to Keller Williams. I got my first listing in 10 days, another buyer, two weeks after that, another buyer, two weeks after that. And it literally just took off. And I did a hundred and no, I did 96,000 my first year at Keller, 126 my second. And then I hired her as a full-time coach. I went to 220 and then consistently to 400, then 450 and 500. This stuff works, you guys. And I don't want you to think for a second that I just came across this information and automatically cl clicked. We're not going to get into all of the challenges that I had while I was building my business, but this was the foundational framework that I used to be able to create the business that I have. So now, this is the not so sexy piece of mindset that in fact, nobody ever talks about. If your life is a complete mess, you have unpaid bills, your car's breaking down, more importantly, you continually keep breaking your promises, you will not manifest a thing. Nobody talks about this in our business, but you need to keep your commitments to yourself first. And you need to bring order and restore the integrity in your life. Now, we must, to formulate the vivid vision of what you're committed to, you have to set your mind on this foundational step. And we're going to get into it a little bit more clearly in this slide here. This is how most people are walking around in the world. This is not to project anything. This is not to judge anybody. This is the state of the world because most people are way too distracted by what is incomplete in their life. And there's no end to their to-do list. There's no end to the mess. And in the context of what you're up to in this business, you gotta relate to everything that there is to do and everything that there is for you to clean up in your life as integrity keeping your promise to yourself and other people and maintaining a powerful context for yourself and your life. Because when integrity goes out, your brain automatically defaults to fear, lack, confusion, worry, uncertainty, being cautious, tired, bored, anger, agitated, shame, and guilt. Because when you don't keep your promises to yourself and you don't keep your promises to other people, that sends a very clear signal to the conscious mind that I am unworthy of having what I want. Good luck manifesting anything if your integrity is down the well. You need to bring that up and get responsible, 100% responsible for everything that's happening in your life and begin day by day 
keeping those small promises to yourself because what that builds is trust and trust is the man is the foundation of manifesting anything that you want for yourself. I can't make this any more clear. The vivid vision, it might work, but it pro predictably won't work unless you go and begin to restore your relationship with yourself by keeping your promises with yourself. And that's something Mike, that you're really, really strong at really strong at and I would assert that that's one of the reasons that you've been able to build what you've built so far. Well, I appreciate that, David. And, and I love that you bring this up in this in presentation because we talk about this in our group a lot is, you know, unfortunately, most people have gotten in such a big habit of breaking promises to themselves and letting themselves down to the point that now that becomes a standard. So when they say that they're going to go do $100,000 this year, they don't do it that year. To them, it isn't, it doesn't phase them. It doesn't bother them whatsoever because the whole year they've been disappointing themselves, breaking promises to themselves. And it's now become the new norm where they're actually surprised if they keep a promise versus the opposite of what you're talking about here. And I think this is so impactful for people to understand because your ability to trust in what you can do all stems from building that momentum of consistently keeping those promises, even if they're little wins, it makes a big difference to continue to believe in what you're capable of. Because if you continue to fall flat, that's creating a new habit and a new norm in your mindset as to, okay, if I don't make it happen, no big deal, because I never make it happen On to the next school that I probably don't even believe in myself. Exactly. And that's why I'm a huge proponent of providing a new way of thinking about our business because there's a, there's this condition in our industry that you should set big, massive, audacious goals. I completely disagree with that because I have seen thousands of real estate agents attempt to do that only to go make $65,000 that year. Why did you set a goal of $400,000? All you did was put a burden on your shoulders backed on a lack of integrity of not keeping your promises to yourself that's already there. And this has already driven you further into the hole. Now, what I'm not saying is don't think big and don't put a mountain on your shoulders that you know you will not achieve because you got to go and deal with your integrity and get your life in order. Because when you don't, you're covered in these, these dark clouds and these dark clouds get in the way of actually having what you want come to you. This here could, we could do four hours just on this one. <laughs> yeah. So let's keep going. All right. So when you begin to restore your integrity, this is what you're doing. You're restoring the love over there with yourself. You need to begin to relate to integrity as the greatest act of self-love. Let that in. Restoring your integrity is the greatest act of self-love. Not going and getting a massage, none of this self-care business, not having a bath, not taking the afternoon off. The love can't be present unless you keep your promises to yourself and other people, period which then elevates the trust. And then you're going to notice you're just going to have this level of confidence and certainty. You're going to be calm and settled. You're going to have this sense of knowing that what you want is coming to you. Because it is. You've cleaned it up. You restored the integrity. You're clear on what you want. And bang, it shows up. It's actually that easy. So now what do you do? Well, I would take a screenshot of this or certainly take a note of this. You got to have a place for everything. You know, what are you not doing? What are you just, you're just declaring, I'm not doing that. You know, maybe you've wanted to go on this big trip and perhaps it's not the right time. Put it in the not doing list. What is the not doing now? You know, you, perhaps you're in real estate, but you want to start a new business. Well, it's clear. I'm only making 75 to hundred grand, 150 grand. I'm just not going to do that right now. I'm going to focus on my real estate business. I'm going to focus on selling a bunch of listings and I'm going to get up over two, 250 a year. Then I'm going to reevaluate starting that. Then you want to look at the doing now. Maybe you've got bills that you're blowing off. Maybe you have people that you need to call and apologize for something. Those things, you all know what they are. They constantly rattle around in your mind. 
That's what you want to put in the doing now list and go get that stuff complete. Go apologize to that person. Go drop off that client gift that you keep forgetting about or pushing off. All those things that you continue to delay throughout your week, go get those done in the next seven days and you just watch the physiological state change that is going to happen in your mind and your body. There will be a palpable difference. Now, this is a really important slide because you got to stop thinking of what could have been or what should have been done or what could have been done. That is past-based thinking and it's a complete trap. And you really want to get that each and every single one of us, me, Mike, everybody in the real estate business, and frankly, everybody in the world, we are here to create. That is the full expression of the human experience. And ultimately, what is required is for you to stop making yourself wrong for what you haven't done. And I'm going to add to that. Stop making yourself wrong for where you're at and just bring love and acceptance and make a deep, no BS commitment to yourself that your life is going to be way bigger than it currently is. So definitely take a screenshot of this. Take tons of notes here because in the formula at the beginning of what I started to share, there's the vivid vision. And to do that, you want to set a crystal clear objective, maximum two. Do you want a listing a month? Do you want a listing and a buyer every month? Do you want to make $10,000 a month? Do you want to make $27,000 a month? It is a crystal clear objective. And when I came over to Keller Williams, when I had $60,000 in debt, I kept my brain and my head and my thinking in a space of curiosity, again, surrendering the how. And the objective was $10,000 a month. And what happened? I joined Keller in August of 2020, pardon me, yeah, 2010. September 2010, 10 grand. October, 10 grand. November, 10 grand, a crystal clear objective. Then you want to think about and speculate on what does it look like when you have received the goal or the objective? Where are you? Who are you with? What are you celebrating? What are you wearing? What can you see, feel, taste, touch? What's the goal that you've accomplished? Are you at a particular restaurant? Are you in a store? Are you going to buy a handbag? Are you going to lease a new car? This is where you are creating the movie scene of the goal of an objective when it's accomplished. And you want to bring a complete way of being as, as being obsessed with the movie scene. And to practice this, pull up in your mind your favorite movie scene from your favorite movie. You know, maybe you want to pause this recording and do that right now. I don't know, or do it after. But that is what you want to practice. And then once you set that vision, you cannot deviate from it. You must stick with the vision. Because what's going to come in is doubt, fear, guilt, shame, whatever that may be for you. And then take 20, 15 to 20 minutes on the above four steps. And frankly, I would take an hour. And then once you've got that clear vision of what you want, it's now time to write it down by hand. Get off your computer, get off your cell phone, and write it out by hand. And you want to pull out a journal or a notebook and put it in there because what you're going to be doing is reviewing that every single day. And this is some very powerful information. It's about acting in a certain way. You've got the vision, the intention, the goal and target. Okay. So you just went on and you created the vivid vision. The vivid vision has what? Maximum one or two objectives. Maybe you want to get a new car and you want to make 15 to 20 grand a month, just for example. Then you want to align your being, thinking, planning, 
in acting. Not you, notice how I don't say anything here about doing. It's about your being, thinking, planning, and acting. And you're thinking and acting as though it's already done. Again, the it is the goal or the objective. Now, two things will happen with certainty. You will face resistance, fear, and doubt. Every great artist, every great athlete, business person, does not matter who it is, faces resistance. And I have one book recommendation, and it's called Turning Pro by Stephen Pressfield. Go buy that right now. He does such a beautiful and eloquent illustration of what it looks like to be in resistance or to be an amateur and turn professional. When the resistance shows up, stop everything that you're doing. Get off your phone, stop talking to whoever you're talking to, whatever it is. Come back to your vision and bring absolute certainty. Expect the result. Bring trust in knowing. And then get back to doing what you're doing. This here, Mike, requires an immense amount of discipline because people are going to rationalize their, their, their fear, their doubt, their resistance. <laughs> and guys, it's just part of the human condition. <laughs> it's not personal. We all deal with it. <laughs> Every single day. I see this all the time. It's, it's inevitable. And that's why, you know, I oftentimes think about, you know, somebody's ability to succeed is also correlated to their ability um, to reduce what I refer to as like bounce back time is when you get in the negative mindset, or when something, you know, happens that you weren't planning for that is not positive, or that does create resistance and doubt, how quickly can you bounce back from that and get in the right mindset? Because what you'll see is the people that struggle to hit their goals and things like that, have a bounce back time of days, weeks, months, years, because they get stuck in this ride. And you'll see top performers, everybody deals with it. It's just top performers deal with it in 90 seconds and then realize they can't change it, but how they address it is going to be the solution to the problem. So let's bounce back and get back on track by again, the thinking, acting, being, and planning with that is again, directly correlated to the vivid vision. Um, so your Got ability it. to bounce back is, is incredibly important because there's every single day I deal with resistance, fear, and doubt. And if I let some of the stuff get to me, um, there's no way, you know, my business would be on the trajectory it is now, but it's the ability to look outside of that, realize it's part of the process, embrace it, and then bounce back and get back to the planning. You nailed it. Exactly. So now let's bring a little bit of structure to it. You've created the vivid vision for the year. But also, you want to create a vivid vision and a mission for every quarter. I always do a financial objective and I do a personal objective. Could be around my health, it could be around relationships, could be around attracting agents, it could be around listings, whatever. But you want to write out your mission and vision for the quarter and you want to set targets around listings, buyers, attracting agents family, health and wellness, income, et cetera. Maybe you want to buy something and treat yourself to something that's a really, that would really make you feel good. Go do that. Put that in as one of your missions and visions. And you want to set very clear actions to forward the future of the vivid vision. And actions, actions are actually data. And they're inputs into the future. If you're watching this, you really want to ingrain that for yourself. Actions are inputs into the future. It's no different than putting gas in a car or food in your stomach. That provides you with energy to keep going. Actions need to be related to in the exact same way, backed on a foundation of integrity, integrity that they are inputs into the future. You just got to get responsible for all the stuff and resistance and the fear and doubt that comes into your mind and go back, you know, go back a few minutes to what Mike and I just covered. 
So you can effectively take actions which are inputs into the future so what you want can come to you way faster. I think that's a really important topic because you know, we often talk about the echo effect of what you do today shows up, you know, 90, 180, 360 days later. Um, and that, you know, for people that are looking for a change, that's one of the biggest struggles is that they feel like, you know, they need results immediately, but the actions you're taking today are those deposits um, into creating what's going to show up, you know, in the future and, and present time. So um, I think, that, you know, for people to understand that, you um, you know, again, if you're if you're breaking the promises to yourself, if you're falling victim to, you know, little things that should be outside of your bigger vision, that again, is going to show up 30, 60, 90 days from now. Um, whereas if you start to take proactive action, that's going to be the positive, you know, outcome that shows up in the future. So this is this is great. I love it. Yeah, you got it. And, you know, this is a really great summary of everything that we've covered. And this is going to be a couple little things that you need to do. First, you want to feel calm and confident and certain that what you're creating is already here. I've said that three or four times already on this call today. Again, feel confident and certain. Bring certainty that what you're creating is already here because you are merely the expression of its fulfillment. And then you want to get a journal and you want to hand write out your vivid vision and your mission and targets. And then pull out your, if you use Google Calendar or whatever electronic existence system that you use, pull that up and take an hour every Sunday to design and create the week ahead. One of the biggest challenges with people in our industry, Mike, is they automatically default and get taken over by the expectations of our clients, of it's just crazy. We're inundated with so much with emails, with this, with that all day. You got it. You are the sole source of your life and you've got to take that time every Sunday to sit down and create your week, set objectives, plan your week, think through your time, think through your schedule. If you're going around the city, showing homes, listing appointments, you got to put in the thinking. Yeah, this is, this is incredibly important. And, and ironically, you know, you and I haven't even talked about this, but I do it every single Sunday as well. And, and, yep. you know, one of the biggest faults is that a lot of agents or, or entrepreneurs in general run their business in a very reactive way where oh. they wake up every day they're they go into their emails. They haven't even, you know, woken up and they're getting overwhelmed, stressed, full of anxiety because they're reacting to all of the nonsense that's coming through um, versus proactively running your business. And that's why, you know, I, I have this to keep it beside me every single day, my little, you know, power list, um, where the night before I go to bed, I write down the five income producing activities that I need to do the next morning in order to move the needle and make progress in my business. And I don't answer a single email, a single text message, or deal with any nonsense, um, client meetings or anything until the power list is done. So that I know by the time, you know, noon hits, I've been able to move the needle and make the progress I need. So the rest of the day is about fielding the rest of the stuff that aligns with that vision. Exactly it. And now, you know, we're at a point where people have watched this video and we've covered a lot. Okay. This is, this could have been three to four hours of training alone. Well, what's key is if you didn't get everything, go back and watch this video again and go implement. There's a problem in our business. I'm going to say this very clearly. There's what I have coined the golden ticket syndrome. People are always looking for the missing link of what they don't have and what's missing within them. There's nothing missing. You're not broken. You don't need anything. I can't make that any more clear. There is no external force that's going to make you successful. It's all you. And go implement what we've brought for you today. And I want to leave you with this. In every human being, there is both garbage and gold. It is up to us to choose what we pay attention to. So it's up to you to go create a vivid vision and go implement what I've shared with you today, or you can go pay attention to all those egoic garbage and thoughts and all that stuff that's in your head, okay? And who is Werner Earhart? Werner Earhart is one of the forefathers of the personal development movement globally. Back in the 70s, uh, he's still with us today, uh, but this man is an incredibly intelligent human being. So it's up to you. Go focus on the garbage or go focus on the gold. 
Yeah, this is incredible. And, you know, I think going back to, to the previous slide, like taking action is, is the most important thing because one of the problems I see constantly is people, you know, I like to refer to them as like, you know, serial meetuppers or serial seminar goers or book readers, which is, you know, they read a book, they do nothing, they go to the next book, they go to a seminar, it could be a life changing seminar, they go to a Tony Robbins event, they go to an MI led any Frizella, you know, any sort of event, and then they go to it, write pages and pages of notes, get back and think, okay, when's the next event? Yep. When's the next book I can read? Who's the next coach I can get? What's the next YouTube video I can watch? Instead of taking the incredible wealth of information that we just went through and say, how can I apply this today? And then once this is done, how can I find the next thing? Or what more likely happens is by doing what we talked about today, the next step will naturally reveal itself based on where you need to go at that point in time once you reach there, because life has a beautiful way of doing that. So I really hope you guys, again, look at this, rewind, take the notes, but actually execute on the notes and put together a plan um, because this is the not so sexy stuff that people might not know they need to hear, but do need to hear in order to get to that next level in their business and their life. You got it, Mike. So again, guys, um, this is part one of a multitude of series. We're going to go through three other videos. So make sure you stay tuned and check this out. And also um, what I'll be doing is I'll be linking all of David's stuff below, because again, when you start looking at this, it's absolutely incredible to see what he's been able to do, how many lives he's changed, how many people's businesses he's helped, you know, double, triple, quadruple, skyrocket using these simple strategies that, again, are not overly complicated. But what you have to do is, is something that I refer to, and I do this every six months, which is the notion of slowing down to speed up. Sometimes, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs, especially in the real estate industry, is they have this funny thing about getting concerned about taking a step back or taking the foot off the gas. But the problem is, is even though their foot is currently on the gas, they're stuck in the mud and their tires are spinning. They're not actually making momentum, moving the needle or making progress, but just because the nature of them having the foot on the gas, they make this assumption that they're moving forward. If you look at a restaurant, how does the restaurant go to the next level? They shut down for months, they renovate, they take a loss in business in order to go 10 steps forward once they reopen. So look at this stuff, slow down for a second, get the clarity you need. And by taking a step back and implementing this stuff, I can tell you from firsthand experience, your life will change because over the last 12 months, my income, my business has completely changed. It's exactly 10 X. Um, when you look at a monetary perspective, and it's all by doing exactly what David talked about here today.